Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get website traffic today. So let me show you an email that I received yesterday. And I thought, you know what, this might be really good for the Profit Copilot guys. So I'm sharing it with you. Maybe you've received this email too. Maybe it's gone out to a lot of people. I have no idea. But I received this from someone called David. I thought I'd share it with you because you might benefit from it too. So the email subject title is permission to republish your articles on selfgrowth.com. Never heard of this website. I've got no affiliation. So he says, hi, Mick. We are actively looking for good articles on the following topics on selfgrowth.com for our 8.0 million uni, annual unique visitors. Excuse me. So they're looking for articles on personal finance, success and self-improvement, relationships, spirituality, lifestyle, careers and business, health and exercise, debt con consolidation, debt advice. So that's a lot of the, the niches that you guys are into. So I figured this might be a, a good source for you too. They're actively looking for contributors. And let me scroll down here. So... He says at the end of each article that you contribute, you can include a link back to your website that will provide you with new visitors so we can get traffic from this website. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to check out the stats in similar web and rank to traffic. Let's see what where the traffic is coming from. If it's a, um, a platform that you want to use, so you'll make up your own mind about that. And then we're going to go check out the website itself and see how to use it. Now, the thing that really struck me about this email, it says permission to republish your articles. So that to me implies that we can take existing content and repurpose it and publish it on this platform. Sounds pretty reasonable. So let's go. Let's go to similar web and check out the stats. OK, so similar web, you can see that it's got a global rank of 99,000. Is that right? And then a country rank United States of 44,000. If we have a look at the actual traffic overview, we can see that it's getting close to a million visitors a month, just under. So 799 unique, uh, 799 thousand unique visitors a month so there you can see in november of 2018 it broke the million mark and it's it looks pretty consistent so let's go down to traffic by countries oh that's nice i like that so 34 percent from the united states so if you're making money from display ads that's a good thing for you it's got 12 percent from india eight percent from the good old UK, 4% from Canada, 2% from Australia. So this looks really good. So it looks like it's profitable traffic. And I'm quite happy with that. Let's go down to traffic sources. That's a nice surprise. So 25% direct, 2% from referrals. But check this out, 71% from search. So that tells us that a lot of this traffic, this profitable traffic up here, is going to be organic from the search engines. So that's really good because I keep saying like, like, organic traffic is loyal traffic. You know, you have people who are actively going out searching for your content, looking for something, just the exact thing that you're offering. So they align themselves with you easier as long as you continue to deliver that type of content that helps people. So referrals, let's see, 2%. Let's go down to search. How much of that is organic? 100% of that search traffic is organic. Okay, this could be a good source for us. Let's have a look at rank two traffic. We don't have that much data about the site. So here you can see it's a bit up and down. So it, it Peaked at over a million visitors a month. Pretty good. Down to 700,000. 
and we're currently at around 800 700 thousand there let's have a look at the last six months and this looks pretty similar to what we saw on similar web so there we've got 900,000 down to 800,000 down to 700,000 so the traffic might be in a bit of a decline but that's okay it it still looks like it's a really decent source of traffic that we can use for free so this should help you to get traffic let's go over a look at the website so selfgrowth.com it says the online self-improvement community and uh, okay this is a bit overwhelming there's a lot of content on here so it's got 300,000 articles 34,000 experts 94,000 websites 2,000 products can we sell on this 461 events and over a thousand videos and then we've got a custom search bar there so where do we start well let's have a look at what other people are doing shall we so featured experts we're not going to sign up just yet let's just check it out first see if it's it's going to be right for us so Eugene Whalen let's click on that guy let's see what what he's doing so there's a lot of information about this guy so I assume we'll be able to add um, keyword loaded content here as well because this is going to rank in the search engines isn't it and then we can see his recent articles articles published on self growth we've got okay cool look contacting this guy so we've got an email address there and then we've got a link to his website so let's check if it's a do follow or a no follow that's a no follow that's okay because we need both of these uh, these do follow and no follows to make the the link profile look natural so so Google doesn't think that we're trying to spam or manipulate the search rank that kind of thing what's the difference between a no follow and a do follow well um, a do follow passes link juice so you get more credit for it officially officially speaking and a, a no follow doesn't pass any link juice it tells Google to ignore that link fact is after 20 something years in SEO I know for a fact that Google do not completely ignore no follow so it doesn't really matter too much um, they still they still crawl it they still look at it and it still counts for something not as much as an as um as a do follow but a no follow is needed too so we've got a link to to his website and look at this because this guy was on the front page so you imagine that seven hundred thousand people or whatever clicking through how many of those are going to click through to his profile how and go to his website even if it's a small fraction of that seven hundred thousand or eight hundred thousand people his website is still going to do pretty well from this plus all the articles that he's published let's have a look so here's one of his articles as you can see I think he's going after keywords here so he's probably done a bit of keyword research on this and there you can see that he's got a link to his website actually in the article there let's inspect element again it's probably going to be no follow yep no follow that's okay let's go down here and then at the bottom of the article he's got a link to his website again so that's okay we can do this too can't we so if we go well we've got a few options here so we, we can click the big join button there or we can go find an expert or become an expert well we want to publish don't we so become an expert and then here we're going to sign up let me go ahead and do that okay look at that that was pretty easy to do so on the left hand side we've got a few options here so look at this create experts page so click that and 
here we can add in a lot of information about ourselves. It gives us an example to look at. Let's check that out. So it's using Tony Robbins as an example. He's got two articles on here. That's quite a scoop, really. If he has actually added that himself, I don't know. It links to his website. So there's a, a good example of what they're looking for on the expert page. So you can add in your, uh, your details there. Choose your area of expertise. Here we've got article submission. Let's have a look at that. So we've got terms of service that we, we need to make sure we abide by. So articles, ideal articles are between 500 and 1500 well-written words relevant to one of our topic areas. Make sure you go through the terms of service before you use this website or any website. And then if you agree to the terms listed above and are ready to submit your articles, click here. And there you can add in your article. It doesn't it doesn't leave much room for um, formatting, does it? it? Looks like a really basic form. Anyway, or is it asking for samples? Hmm. Anyway, let's see what else we can do. So we can submit articles, view my articles, submit article, website submission. So view my websites, no websites found. Click here to add new website. Oh, nice. So you can add a, a direct link to your website on this platform. Nice. Event submissions, video submission. That could be good for me, right? So I think I'm actually going to add some videos to this in a few minutes. But this looks like a really good source of traffic. This is going to help you get traffic, I think. But it is only one source, right? And we need lots of sources to really grow on the internet. So I'm going to show you how I drove a lot of organic traffic for free to one of my websites. You're going to see how other people are doing it too. When you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic, grab that. It's completely free. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up below. Subscribe to the channel too. Hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care, guys.